Welcome back. It's Dr. Jen for Boney, better known as Dr. Jen Fit, doctor, physical therapy, owner, and creator of Jen Health, your one-stop app and platform for all things movement-related aches and pains. And today, I really want to bring you a just that those knots that you're feeling in those upper traps, I want to give you the release that you need through this mobility flow that's really going to help to ease the tension and maybe help you discover what could be causing it. So we're going to use a couple tools because everyone likes some release sensation. Now, this is more about relaxation because we're not releasing anything technically, but we're relaxing within the body. So two tools that I'm going to be using throughout this flow are going to be our therapy balls from Tune Up Fitness. I highly recommend grabbing these therapy balls. We'll have it linked, but they have some give to them and grip into the skin so that they don't go anywhere. And because they have some give based on the pressure that you provide within the body, it's going to have better feedback and stimulation into different areas rather than a one pinpointed hard ball like a lacrosse ball throw those out. If you do not have these, but you have tennis balls around, at least grab those for now. And then I'm going to use the Intelli Roll. Now, this is my favorite foam roller because of the structure, particularly in what we're going to be doing today with some upper back mobilization, which is going to provide room for the spine so that you're not getting any achiness or pain laying directly onto your upper back plus some beautiful acupressure points on the side that help to relax the tension even more into that upper back. So two tools I've been using for years and I highly recommend for anyone to just have within their household. I'm telling you, it feels great. Okay, so we're going to start with our balls here and we're going to place them into, I'm just going to show you here before we do it. We're going to place them into our upper trap area around here. Okay, so it could be a little bit lower, it could be a little bit higher, but I'm going to show you where you're going to be pressing them because we're going to be on the floor. So I'm going to be laying here and I'm going to tuck them into my upper traps. Ooh, and I'm already feeling that. Now, I, to get a little bit more pressure, I'm going to raise into just a little bridge and I can rock into them. Another thing that's really cool, well, you know, only just be here for about a minute, but just close your eyes and feel the movement. Use your arms, float your arms in the air. I know it looks a little funny, but like, <laughs> honestly, you're going to find different spots and different points. You can always move that ball oh, based on how you're moving your arm, because when you move your arm, you move your shoulder blade as well. So it helps you to kind of find that release and relaxation. Only lift your bottom as much as you need to, to get a little bit more pressure. You can wiggle back and forth. You can go up and down. You can move those arms up overhead. You can move them up to the sky. You can wiggle them around. There's so much you could do to help cause that relaxation response in that upper trap, which is what we want, right? When we go get a massage, we just want to feel that release of tension. And this is what we're doing by talking to the brain and causing that pain, that pressure, and that touch into those areas. So breathing, relaxing, deep exhales as you breathe. Inhale into the belly and low rib cage area. Exhale long and slow as you're doing this. Find different spots and then we can take them out. And hopefully already you're like, okay, that's all I needed, but don't leave. <laughs> I promise you're going to want these other ones. Okay. So now we're going to place the roller into your mid back. Okay. Into that mid back. And I'm going to take those arms and I'm going to actually let those elbows come in. So I have a little bit more space. My shoulder blades are now out of the way. Tuck the tailbone under and just allow that upper body to start to melt over. Take some breaths, open up the pressure and then explore different areas. Go a little bit up along those shoulder blades. Again, tucking that tailbone so that you're not overextending in that low back but we really just want the mobility to come from that upper back. You can move on it. Just finding those different pressures. You don't have to just go up and down and just like repping it out, right? You could just be laying over it. We're trying to cause relaxation of the area in order to improve that mobilization. So that's what we're doing. 
Okay, explore all the way up by those upper traps. And we're just doing this for about one to two minutes. So it's not, it doesn't have to be a specific reps because I don't want you to think about, you know, just going up and down. I want you to think about really breathing, relaxing. Where do you feel like your body needs a little bit more attention? You know, we're just always so rounded. So getting into, oh, that release oh, already feels so good. <laughs> I'm going to lay on my back and I'm going to work on my deep neck flexors now. So a lot of times that head starts to fall forward. We start to lose connection with those deep neck flexors and those upper traps end up being in an elongated working position all throughout the day. So we want to take some tension off of them. So laying back, your palms open so that we open the chest or you can even come into like a football post here, really opening the chest. Okay. Now I want your gaze to look down at your knees. This is going to automatically help to tuck that chin. Make sure you're not talking like me. <laughs> your mouth is closed. Okay. Now, from this gaze, looking down at your knees, you're going to think of the top of your head barely lifting off the ground just a tiny bit and hold five, four, three, two, one, and come down. So really holding that chin tuck position, barely lifting the top end of that head off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one, come down. We'll do five of them. Looking at your knees, hold five, four, Three, two, one, two more, five, four, three, two, one. So you don't want to be flexed too much in the neck. You just want that chin tuck. So make that double chin, that cute double chin, and bring that top of the head up. Five, four, three, two, one. As that starts to become easier, you can either increase the time. So you can do 10 seconds rather than five. Um, and then you can also do 10 of them instead of just five. So always ways to increase it. Now I'm going to come more on my side because I am pregnant here. I'm going to place my arm out to the side for a pec stretch. So as I do this, I just don't want my shoulder to come forward. I want to breathe open. Okay, I want to open my chest. So again, my upper back isn't rounding. My neck isn't falling forward. My upper traps aren't getting so much tension into them. And I take three slow breaths here. We're just going to do three times on each side. So I'm going to flip. You obviously don't have to carefully move to the side off of your belly. You can roll on your belly. But use that other hand to kind of prop away. Shoulder off, shoulder blade back into your back. You can play with different positions of your arm here. So you might want to move it down a little bit more, up a little bit more. Wherever you feel that front of the chest, not your shoulder, front of the chest stretching. Foot doesn't have to be touching. It's just kind of floating there. That's fine. Three breaths, and then we switch. Find, again, that position that kind of feels good for you. Ah, oh, three slow breaths. And then we flip. And three breaths. Woo, my chest is pretty tight, so this is one that is definitely needed today. <laughs> Feeling great. And opening. Just because we feel it in the upper traps doesn't mean we just need to stretch the upper traps. We actually need to address areas above and below that could be contributing to why <laughs> those upper traps are continuing to feel all knotted up and all tense and tight, right? That's the goal here. Okay. So now a root cause that could be happening as well is that we don't really know how to press and utilize our serratus anterior, this muscle that comes on the inside of that shoulder blade and it wraps down into that rib cage. This is so crucial for how we lift our arm and how we're moving our shoulder in general so that we're not using so much of our upper trap all the time. So from here, I want you to push into your fingertips and draw those shoulders away from your ears. Now, without bending the arms, you're going to try to drop the shoulder blades together 
and then press the shoulder blades away from the floor, away, 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 without rounding. So we're not rounding the upper back, but without moving the shoulders up to your ears, you're thinking of just pushing the shoulder blades away. This is turning on our serratus anterior. And we're just going to do some presses here. Okay, just five, getting used to it. As you start to progress, and if you come back to this flow more often, which I hope you do, especially if you fill those upper traps, I want you to start working on maybe you're doing 10 instead of just five. Maybe you're going to hover your knees and make it a little bit harder, and then you're trying five this way, and you're like, whoa, that gets a lot harder. So there's always ways that we can continue to progress and improve within our body so that we're taking tension off here, not feeling those knots. Now, if you're unsure of what to do about a tight knot, we do have a podcast episode on what to do for tight knots and I highly recommend checking it out. And if this is always of complaints, even if you do all the things you're, you know, trying to rub it out, you're trying to do the exercises, and you realize that last one was probably one of the hardest. I'd highly recommend hopping into our neck and upper back plan on Gen Health. I'm going to teach you how to utilize and work with your serratus anterior, how to utilize your breath so that you're not always into your neck every time you take a deep breath in. And we're going to repattern movement over time, slowly, five to 15 minutes a day is all I ask, but just start a free week. See what it feels like within your body to start to do something different for long-term relief. Don't forget, if you love what you're learning, I have so much more in stock for you. So hit that subscribe button, check out the other videos I've done in the past, and leave any comments of any suggestions that you have for videos in the future. And I can't wait to help you feel incredible and amazing within your body.